Hey, this is Warren Redlick. It's a big day of Elon Musk news. Before I get into it, I want to thank Bradford Ferguson of Halter Ferguson Financial and all my Patreon supporters. The big news starts with Elon Musk telling the Wall Street Journal that he has, in fact, moved to Texas. This is because of all the work that's going on with SpaceX at Boca Chica, which is in the southern tip of Texas, and at Giga Texas, the growing Giga factory outside of Austin, Texas. Take a listen. For myself, yes, I, I, I have moved to Texas. Um, we've got the Starship development uh, here in South Texas, where I am right now. We're hopefully going to uh, do a launch later, later today. Um, and then we've got a big uh, factory development uh, just outside of Austin uh, for the uh, Texas. Texas. And, and you made the move really what, what, Why? Why did you Why did you go there? Is that, is that all a personal decision or was it, it, it was probably a corporate environment decision really for the headquarters, is that? Well, I mean, in my case, the, the two biggest things that I've got going on right now um, are the Starship development in South Texas, which was done, this was set in motion like five years ago. Um, and then the, uh, the the big new uh, uh, U.S. factory for, for Tesla, which is uh, called Giga Texas, uh, just by Austin. So those are the two biggest projects. So these necessarily um, drive the use of my time here. Um, yeah, and then the other, the other big thing for, for, for uh, Tesla right now is uh, Giga Berlin. So I was in Berlin, I spent a fair bit of time in Berlin working on that. Matt Murray from the Wall Street Journal tried to make this about some kind of problem Elon has with the state of California, and Elon pretty much dismissed that. He, rec he admitted he thinks California has problems, but this was about, this is where all the work is. The work is at Boca Chica in Texas for Starship, and the work is at Giga Texas in Austin. Speaking of Boca Chica and Starship and all that work, Starship was supposed to launch today, and around 4.35 p.m. or 4.40 p.m. Texas time, 5.35 p.m. East Coast time, it looked like it was going to launch. You'll see the countdown here. Check out what happened. All right, on their stream, it's they're holding at T-minus 13 seconds. Four, and it's resumed three, from 13 seconds to T-minus 10 seconds and counting on their stream. All right, here we go, y'all. Abort. A raptor abort. A raptor abort occurred. That was SpaceX's angle on the left and NASA spaceflight channel on the right. Let's zoom in on the SpaceX channel just one more time. All right, on their stream, it's they're holding at T minus Five, 13 seconds. Four, and it's resumed three, from 13 seconds to two, minus 10 seconds and counting on their stream. Raptor abort. All right, here we go, y'all. Abort. A raptor abort. There were like half a million or a million people watching this stuff live on the edge of their seats. And it got down to 1.3 seconds. And then there was a quiet Raptor abort call that you could barely hear. And then they called it again, Raptor abort. It seemed like they started to pump something out of the engines, but it never ignited. Really exciting. Looks like they're going to go tomorrow. Looking forward to this. This is going to be amazing. Starship is supposed to fly up to 12.5 kilometers and then belly flop down, coasting down, floating down through the air. And then at some point, it's supposed to try to flip and land on the pad. Really strong chance it's either going to hit the water instead of the pad and have a massive dis uh, explosion or collapse or whatever. Small chance it hits the pad and doesn't land well and forms a crater. Lots of fun. And maybe, just maybe, about a 30% chance, Elon says, it sticks the landing. This is going to be really fun to watch. Very good chance this happens tomorrow. Next up, Elon answers a question about this morning's cap raise. Tesla announced that they were raising $5 billion by selling shares in the company. I was a little concerned about this. I made a video this morning about it where I projected that this money would go into investing in the company, growing the company. That's not what Elon says here. I was a little disappointed in his answer. I'm hoping he's sandbagging or something. You know, we're going to pay off some debt. We're going to have some, some more money in the war chest. I really didn't find this answer compelling. I was a little bothered by it, but here it is. Take a listen. 
Today, you said you're going to raise $5 million through new stock sales. And I assume what those gains are really, in your mind, going to do is help you scale up faster, be poured back into investment, because now is the moment to do that. Is that the plan here? We're, we're kind of debating, like, should we raise money or should we not? Um, it wasn't like a 100% sure thing. Um, in the end, we thought, well, we can retire a lot of the debt and uh, increase the security of the company. Well, probably a good thing. Uh, and for less than 1% of solutions probably make sense. Um, but we're you know, neither here, here nor there on that. I think it's a uh, could have gone either way. So what is the, so the money's for really debt retirement you're saying today? Uh, debt retirement and like I guess to have a bit more of a war chest or, you know, um, I guess at the end of the day, you know, what, what is money? Money is an entry in a database. Yeah, that just kind of left me flat. It felt almost like that Kirkhorn came to Elon and said, hey, Elon, we should do a cap raise. And Elon's like, ah, oh, whatever, go ahead. You know, it didn't sound like he was passionate about it. it. didn't sound like he was excited about it. You wonder, is he sandbagging? Is there really a plan to do something more with this? Because paying down debt and having a war chest just don't sound like, El they just don't sound like Elon things. So I don't know. I, 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 like I said, disappointed in that. But next was a really exciting for me, and I, if you're a fan of Elon and you're a fan of where the future's going, really interesting question that leads into the boring company. Are you ready? Here we go. If you could redo the entire transportation infrastructure of the United States, how would it look? Michael Fountain asked. Entire transportation infrastructure, wow. The, the main thing I, I see missing here it is uh, th that we need to go 3D in cities in order to alleviate traffic congestion. And um, I, and I think probably the best way to do that is with uh, with tunnels. Um, it sounds it may sound a bit silly, but boring company that you you started, which looks at that. Yeah, um, yeah in fact, for for many years, I was asked, "What do I see as the biggest opportunity for new companies?" And I kept saying, "Can someone please build tunnels?" For half a decade, I said this, and, and nobody built tunnels. So I was like, "Fine, we'll start a company and, and start building some tunnels." And we've got the first tunnel that's uh, going to be opening up, first commercial tunnel opening up in Vegas, uh, going from the convention center to the Strip. And I think we will have an opportunity to try it out and be able to see that, hey, if we just go 3D in cities, we don't have to be stuck in gridlock. This is great. And uh, so I'd recommend tunnels. And then for long distance travel, the you, you can do um, tunnels or tubes. Uh, but if you evacuate the tunnel and, and uh, essentially remove the air or most of the air, you can, you can get rid of the uh, air friction, and you can go uh, supersonic, uh, and uh, do so with, uh, I mean, with, with no um, dependence on weather, and with no need to get to high altitude, or create any sonic boom issues. So that's what I meant by sort of the hyperloop. It, it's, it's, it's just basically a pressurized uh, electric car in a vacuum tube. So I think this 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 would be a revolution in transport that would be uh, amazing, um, and um, hopefully others do it, not just the boring company. So that's it. That's the update. Very exciting about the boring company for me. Elon talking not just about urban transport with the boring company and tunnels underneath the cities, but he also talked about long distance tunnels. It sounded like tunnels, not tubes. Maybe both. And he talked about supersonic speeds. I think in the past when Hyperloop has been talked about, the speeds were 400 to 600 miles an hour. Supersonic means more than 700 miles an hour. It means faster than regular airplanes. A future of Hyperloops taking people at high speed from city to city is very, very exciting. I just got off a plane. I just, I just flew round trip to New York City. The flying experience is awful. I think there's tremendous promise for Hyperloops to make travel much, much better, much more, a much more pleasant experience, a much quicker experience. I'm really excited about this. I think it's going to be great. I think Elon's talked about using hyperloops to get to spaceports so that if you're going on really long trips or you're going up into orbit or beyond, you would get to the spaceport via hyperloop, which means you can locate your spaceport somewhere offshore between cities and multiple cities can feed into the same spaceport. Check out my video here to find out more about where I think spaceports might be located. Of course, check out the merch. I got a new shirt. I got a new shirt. It's a high res picture of the planet Earth from space. Thanks to all my Patreon supporters. Thanks to my friend Joe Ramos for sponsoring this channel. And thank you for watching.